Hey, hey, what's up, people? We're up here again. Episode 6, um, titled Why PvP? Well, when you recently hit level 73, you're gonna con want to consider doing PvP for one major, one major, major reason. It's because of this guy. When you PvP, you can even as much as if you don't like the PvP you would need to especially if you're interested in wanting the best out of your tune wanting the best DPS best healing wanting that HP for tanking wanting you know you want to perform to the best of your ability you don't want to be called a noob so by PvP in you could take that honor you get and where I, where I am at the map right now, you go to that location and this guy, he sells buffs. He sells them for each class, agility, and he has them small, medium, <laughs> that's what I call it, small, medium, and large. So one major tip though is that the medium buff stays on for five hours the big buff the large buff stays on for 24 hours but the interesting thing about it is that the small buff stays on for one hour but the one hour buff is double the medium buff and the big buff when I mean double for example I'm as a warrior or as a flame knight you need strength the small buff gives you 20% increase in strength while the large and the medium only gives you 10% I recommend taking the one hour because you your stats double what you take with the medium and the large also you need on a fighting package which gives you a exquisite resilience blessing which helps a lot in both world pvp and arena no world pvp and dungeons if you if you lack that hp if you lack it you could even it also helps with duels as well but if you lack that hp and you need an extra 2k to 3k HP you gotta take the honor fighter package PvP in isn't easy but as you progress as you learn how to play your specific class you will be able to farm your buffs for your PvE dungeons that's it over and out